this is Erin Parker. I'm an Indian Education Resource Advisor. I'm Jay Hester, also an Indian Education Resource Advisor. On the camera is Brett Coon, another Indian Education Resource Advisor. We are going to take a virtual field trip at the beautiful Wooler Rock Museum. We're outside. You can see the beautiful tile work before we even get into the museum. The museum hosts lots of paintings, but we're going to be focused on the buffalo, since that's what we're talking about this month. All right. So come on in. Yeah, go ahead. This are bones and an example of prehistoric bison. The first people to inhabit the land that is now called Oklahoma were descendants of the Asian immigrants who had followed and successfully hunted large ice age mammals for many generations across the Barrington land bridge to, into North America. These are all fossils of today's bison. There's different rooms, and so in this room, again, we're focusing on the bison and buffalo, so we're just going to show you those parts. So over here, is a painting, it's called The Battle of Wolves by N.H. Trotter, so you can see it was wolves surrounding the buffalo. It looks like they're trying to get to that baby right there, it looks like the mama and the daddies are trying to protect it. And then also we noticed as we were going through, there's buffalo hides. You can touch them. It's actually pretty soft. I thought it would be a little bit more coarse than that. So those are all around. And so then we're going to go to the next room. But as you can see, these rooms are huge. They have a lot of stuff, a lot of Native American paintings and artifacts. This one actually moves. I think it's a power? What does it say? Pro Indian Dance in Joplin, Missouri. Is there This is the buffalo dance headdress. Its age is from about 1890, so it is a long time ago. Another buffalo horn headdress from 1890. This is from the Lenape tribe. There are Algonquin speaking tribes, northern uh, parts of the United States, New Jersey and Delaware, but this one would have been worn for their buffalo dance. This is what a full-size buffalo would look like. And then 
when you look around this room look how big their head is yeah. this is this is my hand <laughs> that's so crazy so they have all kinds of different things made from the i see like bear i see some claws but up on the walls in this room is all these buffalo mountain heads and they're all different sizes like some are really big some are smaller, maybe it's the different ages of the buffalo. Bison. And we're gonna walk through. So they have bronzes, they have, here's some headdresses. Jay's gonna take us to the next buffalo piece. This is the back of a buffalo hide. You saw the front, you saw the fur, you saw the hair. This is the back of it. This is what would be attached to the, the skin and the muscle and the sinew. When buffaloes were harvested, we ate the meat, you know that. But their hides could be used for many things. This was probably used to cover the door of someone's home. Whether well, they lived in a teepee or a, a winter dwelling. We didn't have wooden doors with handles. You would cover this to keep the cold out. And then it was beautifully decorated because we still like beautiful things. And up here, now you can see just how huge that is. So when they spread this out, that's how big that hide is. And so this is another buffalo hide where they drew a pictogram on it. And then right below, they have this picture. It's called the Buffalo Hunt. It says it's by Chaz M. Russell. So you can see the Plains tribes hunting the buffalo. But that's just how huge they were. They could probably feed, I don't even know how many people. That's a lot of meat. Okay, we're gonna go. All right, here's more mounted buffalo heads all around this room. Come get me. All the horns. And here we go. And below are paintings of buffalo. People paint and draw and write about things that are powerful to them, things that see that make an impact. The same way you do when you doodle or draw or write a story, it's something that is impactful to you. You can see how impactful the buffalo were. Look how beautifully detailed the paintings are. And then over here, we noticed that in most of these paintings on this side, it's showing buffalo by the water, near the water, playing in the water. And if you got our um, buffalo newsletter, we showed a video of buffaloes actually swimming because apparently they're actually really good swimmers. We didn't know that. Because when you look at them, you wouldn't think because they're so big, but they actually are good swimmers. And so that was interesting to us that all those pictures had them in water. So when you come to the Woolwork Museum, this isn't going to be buffalo right here, but I know you guys would really love this. They have an airplane suspended in the air in this part of the museum. So I think this is all about aviation. This is over land and sea. So that is a full airplane, just in the middle of the movie. I thought it was crazy how huge that bear hide is. That was a big bear. Um, the tour guide said that that bear was actually bigger than a buffalo, so that hide would be bigger than what we saw. All right, Jay, look how big that is. He said that was a buffalo. Yes, look how big that is. This is from the Osage tribe. No all men. 
So they have lots of different highs. There's some full cars in here. And then the tour guide said that this would have been if you struck if you struck oil, this would be the type of house that, that you would build so you could live out on the land while you're trying to get the oil. So it's pretty small, but I'm sure you could fit your family in there if you needed to. So it looks like a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom. It's really all you got. This would be 1930s, so 90 years ago, this would have been a family home. This is where, think of all your family living in this home. So there's a lot of interactive things. So right here they have a TV that would play something. Over on the other side they have some moving parts. This is supposed to look like what it would, um, like oil and a town during that time period. There's a little buffalo in there too. Here's the weird The tour guide said everybody always remembers this part. These are the shrunken heads. So this is from Ecuador. This is something that they used to do, and they may still do it, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> they said this is a record at the time, this bear. So he's really big. And I guess he killed this bear, so he was big enough to kill another bear. So there's Jay next to it showing how big it is. <laughs> They said that is a room of strange things. So it's just kind of a whole bunch of strange, odd things in there. I mean, you could probably look at it for ever and find something new every time. Look at a, the puffer a, fish. Yeah, a draft chair. I mean, there's so much stuff in and there. There's a hair rate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're coming into the last thing we wanted to show you. Um, they have a toy room. And even though you can't actually like touch the toys, it's set up where you can push buttons and you can watch things happen. So I can hear it right now, there's a train going. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of different things we can do in here. This is set up to look like a town, probably, what would you say, the 1950s? Maybe. Here comes the train. <laughs> so this is one of the interactive things. There's buttons on the outside, so every time you push a button, different things happen. Oh, I so, like, that. yeah, this one says windmill. So there goes the windmill. And the train's about to go into a tunnel. And then there's a little buffalo in there.
truck and the car. Cool. <laughs> Look at the Dalmatian. Museum. There is a lot to see here. You could spend hours in here if you wanted. We just hit the high spots to give you something to look at. So thank you for joining us. Bye!